I remember once I was in Houston, and there was uh, the Houston Improv. And there's, it's pretty much a black club. Like, it's mostly black comedians go there. And the clientele for the Houston Improv is mostly black people, Texas black people. And so I went and did a weekend there. And it was a lot of my fans, but it was a lot of folks that just come to the improv. So they, I could see in their faces that they don't know me. And there was this one table of people. They were dressed like it's Easter, like beautiful clothes, you know. And this woman in like a, like a robin's egg dress and just beautiful makeup, this black woman. I was doing this bit about pedophiles, one of the many pedophile bits. I don't remember which one. It was the thing about that they should make doll, very realistic dolls of children for, for pedophiles to fuck. Uh, and she was just like, ugh, like literally putting her hands up like, please don't. And I just, I look at her, I looked at her with, love with sympathy i was really playing to her now and i'm trying to convince her that i'm not just trying to piss her off that there's something worth hearing in here and somehow i don't remember what the moment was but there was a moment in the bit where she went i got i get it and then she started to laugh and i felt this relief i think she would rather not have had the experience (laughs) at all but i don't know i just love that so much so i love doing that so much and then it finds now I have a bit that she's part of, that her resistance h- helped me find all of the round edges to the bit and all of the angles. You know what I mean? That's one of the most fascinating things about comedy is that you really need the audience to develop it. You need them. You can't do it in a vacuum. No, it is the one art that the audience is your horn. That's your fucking yeah. instrument. Yeah, they're participating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you need a bunch of different kinds of audiences. So many. Yeah, from all over the world. Yes, you need to use. You need to see people that aren't like you. That's the most important thing, is to go yeah. to places where you're like, Ugh, I, this is not going to be fun. And there's bits that I do that I'm like, I don't want to do this to them. I don't want to feel this feeling. <laughs> but I know if I keep doing it, each audience will bring me closer to them and figuring out. And then there's this bad point where these bits that I do that are like about pedophilia and stuff, they get to where they're killing because I've just I've fashioned them so well and had so much yeah. great collaboration with different kinds of outrage, and now uh, it's a blistering hot bit. <laughs> and then when I'm doing it, I forget it was ever offensive, right? And I just go like, I'm, I'm doing it like this, like, yeah, you're gonna love this. <laughs> and I always crest over the wave to some audience that they just stare at me like. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I go, oh, yeah, that's right. This is, <laughs> this is a fucked up subject. This is a fucked up thing to be talking about. <laughs> and then they remind me to approach it like this. Mm, yeah. Like a, like the way you're talking to somebody with a, like a panicking person with a gun. Right, 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 right. You know, who's got a guy like this yeah. and he's doing this. Yeah. And you're just trying to get him to breathe. You're trying to get him, you know. Trying to take them through a scary room, but what a great thing to take people to where the things that they hate and make them laugh at. Yeah, it, you know what a great thing for 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 some of us. Some people don't like that. No, some people just like clean and easy, and yeah. that's that's fine too. I mean, there's a great audience for that too. The, the, I, I think one of the unique things that y- you've always liked to do is you like to go to clubs unannounced, so they don't know you're going to be there. They're not your fans necessarily; they're just right. people. And then you you just drop in and try stuff out. Yeah, that's the most honest thing, you know. I mean, there's the – it's a, a think of some analogy where if you turn up all the dials, it all becomes zero again. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing your audience, there's also a huge amount of pressure. They're paying more money, mm-hmm. and they've been waiting. So yeah. you feel this thing of, like, this has got to be good. The pressure is really high for those shows. There's support, but those are your customers. Yes, so they're just like, let's go. Yeah. But when you just walk in, I mean, a lot of times if I walk in a place, they know who I am. But there's enough in the audience. They didn't come to see me. And there's enough in the audience that's just, I can get an honest sense of how this material works. 